Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to route the HTC One using the toolkit method. Okay, first you must have a Windows PC uh, in order to use this toolkit. Also, all credit goes to the developer of this toolkit. I simply simplified the procedure a little bit. Uh, I ran into some snags while doing it myself and figured I'd add them here to make life easier for other people. Uh, but if this procedure helps you in any way, please uh, head over to the original program creators link right here um, and thank them at least or donate to them if you can. Okay, next you're going to head to the developer's post. And then scroll down to his second posting. Click on that link there to go to his little hosting site. Click on your device. I have the AT&T version of the one. Then click on the toolkit here. Click the download link. You actually need to download WinRAR. So you're gonna click on this link here. And then download the latest version for your version of Windows. Then install it. Okay, next you're gonna right click the toolkit, hit extract files, then click on C drive and click OK. And click on Windows Explorer, C, and the toolkit folder, and double or right click the actual toolkit itself, and hit run as administrator. Yes. And then we're going to click install HTC drivers and click go. Click OK. OK, once that's done, we're just going to follow this list here at the left. So we're going to go register at HTC dev. So click that and click go. Click OK. It's going to open up a browser and click skip add at the top. And enter in all of your information for your registration for HTC developers. Um, make sure you put a correct email address because after this is done, it's gonna send you a link that you need to check your email, click on the link in order to completely activate your dev account. Then on the device, you're going to want to pull down the notification, hit settings, scroll down to developer options turn them on, and then tap USB debugging and make sure that it's on. Click OK. Then you're gonna click Get Token ID, click Go, click OK. And then your device will reboot into fast boot mode. When it does, close this first command prompt. And the second one should appear looking like this. So then you are going to right click and hit Mark. And we wanna copy just this. So control C and then control V it into notepad. Now, if you for some reason, which happened to me before, get bootloader or bootloader in front of here, kind of like it's written here, you need to manually go in and delete the spaces and the word bootloader in the parentheses all in front of each of these lines so that it looks just like this. It's just identifier token star with all the little carrot marks, and over to the end of the carrot marks, and these lines of code written exactly as they are, with no spaces. Okay, next we're gonna select submit token ID, and hit go, then click OK, then click skip add, and scroll all the way to the bottom, and put in your identifier token here. So, again, make sure it looks just like it does here. No bootloader, none of that in between it, etc. You're gonna copy all that, paste into here, hit submit, and wait for it to send you your unlock code via email. Okay, after that, we're gonna click, um, well, we're gonna go to our mail and download the unlock underscore code dot bin file, save that to our desktop, then click unlock bootloader, hit go, click OK. It's gonna ask you to choose your unlock.bin. We're gonna to go to our desktop and we're gonna select this one here. Click open. 
Add to that, it's going to ask you to confirm the warning. Just hit volume up and then power to select yes. The phone will erase itself when this happens, um, but then it'll boot up. You'll have to go through the setup process. Okay, then go to settings, go to power, scroll all the way to bottom and turn off fast boot. And while it's still plugged in, we're going to flash our custom recovery image. So we're gonna go to Clockwork Mod Touch. The one that I wanna use, flash. Uh, on your device, make sure that USB debugging is on again. And then click OK. This first command prompt is going to show up and boot your phone back into fast boot mode just like it did before. So wait for it to boot. Once it does, you can close this command prompt and wait for the next one. It will flash the recovery. You can then close that. Okay, so after we flashed the custom recovery on there, we've checked to see that the recovery exists. We're going to um, root the device. Now, I tried to do this with the toolkit and it just wasn't working properly, so we're gonna do it manually by going to our C drive, then the toolkit, then data, then SU, and you'll see super SU zip file inside there. Um, we're also gonna plug in our device, obviously, and mount the storage. We're gonna take the super SU file and copy it over to the root of the device's storage. So just inside internal storage and not inside any folders. And we can close that, close that, and unplug our device. Then we're gonna turn off the phone. Then turn it back on by holding down volume, down, and power at the same time, and keep holding them. until we get to our fast boot screen. We're gonna push volume down to select recovery, power to actually select it. And once we get into recovery, we're gonna tap install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, scroll down super su.zip, hit yes super su.zip install. Once it's totally installed, hit go back, reboot system now. Okay, and then after that, the phone will reboot, you have a custom recovery, you have an unlocked bootloader, and you have uh, super user or root access. Enjoy. Now, if you'd like to learn how to undervolt the device, overclock the device, load custom ROMs, all that fun stuff, you can click the link beneath this video on our site to be taken to all of that.